praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. It's like I've taken long uh, rain, but the Lord has not been able to answer me. How many of you have ever had such questions in life? You see this example? Okay, yeah. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. At least, this, at least these people are trustworthy. Hallelujah. They are true. Yeah, but there are times whereby you ask yourself, why have I prayed and the Lord is not answering? Why are we going through this situation as a family? They say that, ask and you shall receive. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, the Lord says that, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. But why is it that for me I've been knocking? I've been able to go through the fasting. But the Lord has not been able to answer me. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to tell you that he has got a way with each and everything. How many of us here carried our Bibles? First of all, let's clap for each one that carried his Bible. Uh, for those who uh, have not been able to carry your Bibles, please always remember having them as we come in this place. And then uh, the one who wants a Bible, their Bibles at the lowest cost 20,000. Request money from parents. Solicit money, some of you have money. Hallelujah. So you solicit money and own a personal Bible. It is such a value, each one to have a Bible. Hallelujah. Yeah, so an effective prayer. Let's go into uh, the book of, uh, that is First John chapter 5. Open your Bibles, please. Then always have where to write, have where to write. Whenever you happen to go before the presence of God, because the Bible says that, uh, uh, is he who created ears doesn't have ears? Is he who created the mouth doesn't have a mouth? Meaning that if he was able to create a mouth, he's able to do what? To talk. Hallelujah. He's not an idol. The Bible says he's a living God. Hallelujah. Meaning that he speaks. Hallelujah. Yeah. First John. We are going to see first John. First John. We are going to see first John chapter 5 verse 14. As John chapter 5, verse 14. Hallelujah. May you read for us, my dear sister. So, verse 14. Afterward, Jesus followed me in the temple. That's John, that is. for her. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible told us that this is the confidence that we have in him. Meaning that whenever we happen to pray, we are supposed to have confidence in the Lord. Hallelujah. We are supposed to have confidence in the Lord that whenever we rise to pray, he does what? He hears us. But he has put there a, 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 a precaution that if we pray according to his According to his according to his will. Meaning that he has got a will in prayer. Hallelujah. I want to remind you, sons and daughters of God, that in each and every matter, God has a will. Hallelujah. And always get to remember, uh, according to his word, he tells us in the book of Isaiah, that is chapter 55. Just note down, please. Always have we had right students. Come on now. Tugenda <laughs> The Bible says that, the Lord says that my ways are not your ways, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. Hallelujah. Always God has, God has got a different way. He has a different way that is 
different from the way of people. He has different thoughts that are different from our thoughts. The way how you think is not the way how God thinks. Hallelujah. What pleases you, what you delight in, may not be what he delights in. But, your de- but God is delight. Can, you can choose God is delight to become your delight. You get what I'm trying to say? You can choose God is delight to, be, to become your delight. Osobolo kusala o katonda ichi musanyisa ne chibedanga chikusanyisa. Ne hati bisele bisinga ichi tu sanyisa ate siche ichi musanyisa. Ne hati kusobolo kusala o nongamba mukama nienda kone viku sanyisa. Nienda kutambulira mwempenda zo. I'm going to walk in your ways. Hallelujah. So whenever we happen to come before God in prayer, always remember he has got a way in prayer. Hallelujah. He has a way how he expects us to pray. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's go into the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6. Majority of you have been reading this scripture and we're saying, oh, what does it mean? I enter, enter into a sacred place. Uh, enter into a sacred place. Our time is running up. Okay. Matthew chapter 6 verse 6. Have you reached there? Yeah, so as we are reading there, always remember God has a different way. Hallelujah. He is Katonda Veda, no, 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 and when you have that door, say to your father who is in the secret place, and your father who sees in secret, will reward you openly. Hallelujah. Amen. So majority of the people who read such a scripture always say that uh, it means closing yourself in, and some of you don't want even coming in such an organic an organized room, you get it. Huh? You said the Bible says we are supposed to close ourselves in a separate place. You get it. So you miss out on the on the context and also on the meaning of what this scripture says. You get it. So if it is like that, what can you speak about Paul and Sila? The apostles of Christ who were beaten. They were beaten and after them being beaten, they were put in prison. And in the night they rose their voices and prisoners had them. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. It doesn't mean you closing yourself in a in the door in the room in the room, you get it. But it's a matter of the heart. Hallelujah. It means that if you happen before God, put aside things that sidetrack you. If you have chosen to go into prayer and fasting, there are certain things you are supposed to put away, things that sidetrack you. One time there is a certain noble place I was in. Is it is a place of people of higher hyper uh, so they have money you get it huh? so they invited me to go and minister in their family so it happened as we are praying the lady in the house there uh, she was she was praying while 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 eating while picking water while calling upon the maid uh, bring this and the other you get it so meaning that her heart was not devoted unto God. Yes, it is true that she was praying, but the heart was not fully devoted unto whom? Right. To God. The heart was on different other stuff. But you, when you choose to happen to go into prayer, it may be five minutes. Okay, it may be an hour. It may be two hours, depending on how you are determined to, to spend time with God. But choose to say, this is my time with God. Always see you happening before God like happening before a president of a nation. Hallelujah. May you may I use you, gentlemen, as an example. Ashun is my guest of honor. Praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. And uh, he's the president of the nation, Uganda. And he has come to visit me. Now, as I'm speaking to him, Daniko Gamba, uh, 
enkoko enkoko mazi nazi zebigere president said so kulaba sebo alange mungu alikudukanya mire mje kwanga simanyo ukopo mwabufulumiza president said so wa mukatono nabagambi omwana mumunaze mumusike pepe junior mumusize samona osegera kati awe biruzo biba bichankala na praise be to the name of the lord jesus president john obato mutade mu chichi chitiwa it is the same thing with prayer hallelujah ngamwe biruzo biri walala then another thing if you are not fully devoted and if you don't have faith in prayer hallelujah amen Hallelujah. Yeah, there's my friend in the back. All of you are my friends. Yeah, but there's my friend in the back who is communicating some message. Hallelujah. Amen. So, but always let us remember when we happen before God to pray. He has got a way. Hallelujah. There are those people who pray that why is in my finances? Because I know I'm speaking to students, but there are students who are working here. And so you have been working and the same principles that work for the adults they are the same principles that work for the young people hallelujah there are people who say oh why is why 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 are my finances going right but yet that person does not do the right principles according to the word of god you will not be able to pay tithe you know that even you students are supposed to pay tithe in your churches you are supposed to involve in each and every activity that is involved in church if it is building you may not have billions of money you may have 1000 but your 200 can can be appreciated before god hallelujah praise be to the name of the lord jesus so now concerning business this person may say lord this and this is not happening but yet that person is not faithful in the business you get it that person involves selling and taking things that don't belong unto him you get it huh? that afuna cement omube ngamleta mu business ye nenga gamba mukama sente zikoze ichi zimuze amo lusi ngo chimanyi chichawo mu bimu kuri wakata yimbwa ushegede nengo jango sabane mukama tampulira nenge chitufu oluza katonda asubolo kwa nokula nga waliwo enyumba chitawo ba muganda wodi ya menyo ya kusasiri ya fizi ngo chimanyi atira kuma sawa za kuma cha kuma ono musayi mtu ida ya gamba ngo kuma otombuza asamba school fees katugoroza na saba katonda ulire nga fees aludeyo nenge waliyo omuchala akaba kuba sente zo mwana we yabade yeta ko kujanja ali ku kitande ya fude nenge waliwe yamenye na zitwala nehi ko eno ngoli mukola chi okusaba you get it so as i'm concluding uh isaiah chapter 59 because my time is up the three minutes are remaining with one minute Ah, praise be to the name of the Lord Jesus. Isaiah 59. Let's go in the book of Isaiah 59. That's where I'm going to end. Then I pray and then I be the platform. Isaiah 59. You have your Bibles? Please remember carrying your Bibles. Read them in your free time. Amen. Have you seen there? Yeah. Yeah, Isaiah 59. Okay. Verse 1. Aha, chapter 2. So when you do sin you come and pray ngato ina ko boy boy ina wana kumabali esegede akakusubiza ndo twa tibaiti na kuje tukendo weta mande wali ile nasegede ikigenda maso mu mande wana yuli deli alenta yini 
Father, I thank you for the word we have shared. How I pray that it dwells in the hearts of your people. Father, teach us your will. Enable us to walk according to your purposes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.